it's finally happening. On April 20th, SpaceX will launch the Starship. 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 There's an outer ring of 20 engines, and then there's an inner set of 13. Those are the engines that can gimbal and adjust the course of the Starship vehicle on the way up. And of course, the first stage is it comes back down towards the uh, water landing in the Gulf of Mexico. Go well, super heavy, will fire up its 33 Raptor engines, and it'll lift off from the launch pad down in South Texas. About three minutes into the flight, we're gonna hope to see the super heavy separate from the Starship spacecraft, it'll then perform a flip maneuver. So there's that, you can see that on your screen. And then it'll boost back in order to make a, a hard landing in the Gulf of Mexico. And while that's happening, we hope to see Starship's six second stage engines ignite and watch as Starship coasts for about an hour at altitudes ranging between 150 and 250 kilometers before re-entering Earth's atmosphere and make its own hard landing in the Pacific Ocean about 250-ish kilometers offshore. So they tried launching this bad boy on Monday, um, but they uh, had a frozen pressure valve. So they uh, had to bump it and scrub the flight. So now it's been rescheduled for Thursday, April 20th. If you've ever wondered what life at Starbase is like, excited here uh, in Hawthorne uh, behind Mission Control, as you can hear. Now, imagine if you had to wait for a new airplane to be constructed every time you wanted to fly. You'd rarely go anywhere, and it would probably be completely unaffordable for most of us. In order for us to get to Mars and back with lots of people multiple times, reusability is a must. Now, in the near term and a bit closer to home here on Earth, 
Starship will be critical to other programs as well. Once it's operational, Starship will deliver the full-size and upgraded version of our Starlink satellites. And that's super exciting because our next generation satellites represent a step forward in Starlink's capabilities and will provide more bandwidth and increased reliability to connect millions of people around the world with high-speed internet. And of course, Starship will fly a number of human spaceflight missions in the lead up to our first missions to Mars.